Episode 12, Season 2. Something stinks. Good. Lord. Tyrone. What did you eat? It must have been that Mexican food I ate at my business meeting last night. Oh. My aching stomach. I told you about eating at those crazy restaurants. You never listened to me. I will get you some ginger ale to calm your stomach. Thanks, Bonquesha. I appreciate it. I think I may call out of work today. I can't go to work like this. I agree. You should stay home. No use in going to work sick. I'm sure they can manage at your job for one day. They are going to have to. Oh my god. Bonquesha. You may want to turn on the exhaust fan. It's about to get real in here. What the? Oh good lord. Are you sure you're going to be okay? It smells like something in you died. Oh. Sorry. I won't be going back to that restaurant ever again. Lisa will have to. Who? Who is Lisa? I, I mean... Mr. Leonard. He is who I had dinner with last night. You know. My meeting? Well... I think next time you need to pick a better place to eat. Looks like that place gave you the bubble guts. <laughs> really, Bonquesha? If you knew how I felt, you wouldn't be laughing. I think I may be in this bathroom for the rest of the day. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just you look so miserable. Well, I am. I was supposed to present my proposal to Mr. Leonard and the corporate office this morning. I worked so hard on it too. But look at me. I'm confined to this toilet. Oh my god. This is horrible. Well. I am sure they will understand. Just call them and tell them that you are sick. You don't need to. Run. To work. I am glad you find humor in all of this bunk question. Where is that ginger ale you promised me? Alright. Okay, I will go downstairs and get it for you. I have to hurry because I have to be at work early. You know, I still haven't heard from Vanessa. She never showed up for work and I have been calling her phone but she is not picking up. I am starting to worry. This is not like her. Well. I'm sure she will call you. Maybe she went out of town or something? She wouldn't do that without telling me. I'm her best friend. Something isn't right. I just feel it. Well. I'm sure she is okay. Vanessa is a big girl. I'm sure she can take care of herself. You need not to get worried over it. I guess you're right. Anyway. I'm going to run. And get that ginger ale before you explode. Good lord. Okay, let me try and call Vanessa again. That's strange. The phone is busy now. Well. Let me get this man his ginger ale. I will try to call Vanessa back later. Oh. Look. It's Tyron's proposal. I think I will surprise him and take it to his job for him. He's gonna be so relieved. Now to get that ginger ale. There. That should do it. Let me take this to him. This should settle his stomach. Thanks, Bonquesha. I hope the soda does the trick. I have an awful headache. I think I may go lay down and take a nap. Maybe that will make me feel better. Yes, I agree. You look terrible. Not to mention the way you smell. Please shower sometime today? Huh? Yes, Bonquesha. I will try. And um, would you mind getting me some clean underwear from my drawer? I didn't make it to the toilet in time earlier. Seriously, Tyrone? You pooped yourself? I'm afraid so. <laughs> Bonquesha. Alright. I'll get them. 
Then I'm going to head out for work. Okay, you have a good day. Hey. When you get off work, could you bring me back some ointment for my butt? It's a bit raw. Please? Sure. Should I get some diapers and baby wipes as well? <laughs> Don't expect me to put it on the nasty rash. I will leave that up to you. Yes, dear. Oh no! Looks like Bonquesha is about to get the surprise of her life. Stay tuned.